This video will show you how to register an AP Viewer app so it can be licensed and controlled through the AP Packager application. To download AP Viewer onto your iPad, open the App Store and search for AP Viewer. When you are installing the app, you can look through the description to find out more and see the latest update which has just been released. When you first open the app, it will come with two demo files for you to use. To register your iPad, tap on Configuration to open the side menu and click Register at the bottom. In this next screen, you just need to choose a username and enter your details to register your device over an internet connection. You will see that you need to use a unique username to register the device and once you've done this, you will be notified of a successful registration. You can check your username by pressing configuration, so just remember this detail for the next process. To license your registered iPad so that packages can be shared to it, you will need the AP Packager application. When installing, you will need Adobe Air on your machine to run the setup. The application will display the name of your organisation and details such as how many licences you have available to give to registered iPads. To create a licence, press New and then enter the username of a registered iPad. With the username found, you can name this licence and also select an expiry date from the calendar or leave it empty for a continuous licence. You can always edit the license expiry date another time and also delete the license. So with the license for the registered iPad now created, when the app is opened and connected to the internet, you need to press configuration, then the refresh button at the top of the menu. The iPad will then pick up the license information and download the skin design of the license. With this process complete, the iPad can now receive and play packages which have been run through the AP Packager application associated with it. The next part of this video shows you how to control your licenses and also activate an iPad license when the iPad has no internet connection. As mentioned earlier, you can edit a license in the AP Packager application. You can change the name of the license and also the expiry date if you want. To add more licenses, you just need the usernames of the registered iPads so you can create a license for them. If you want an iPad to no longer play the packages which have been shared to it, you can delete the license to disable the app from using everything it has which is associated to your organization's packager licenses. When this iPad is next used, it will recognise that it's no longer licensed, so it will remove the skin and disable any shared content from playing. Another option available to you with the AP Packager application is to share a license with a registered iPad which currently has no internet connection. By exporting a license, you can apply a grace period which will allow the iPad to run as normal until it can connect to the internet and complete the licensing process. The .pkg file which is created from this export just needs to be transferred onto the iPads app through the iTunes transfer process which is used for sharing licensed packages. This tab is what you will use for dropping your folder of a video and XML file into so that you can license and prepare a package to be shared onto your organization's iPads. To inquire about AP Viewer and AP Packager or find out more information Please contact Analysis Pro Limited using the details provided and keep checking the YouTube channel, Twitter feeds and Analysis Pro website.